equity. What is it? The attorneys in black robes that are acting as judges in the state of and federal courts will tell you only if you ask that their court is a court of equity. Some will say a court of law, and other ju attorney judges will say a court of equity and law. But their courts are n under neither equity nor law. You need to ask, if their court was under the law, what law? If their court was under equity, do they mean common law equity, as pre-1933? Or do they mean public policy law courts under the color of law after 1933 that they do not follow under their own oath of, of public office? Are they referring to the pre-1933 common law of equity and law? Or do they mean equity where they find you guilty for using commercial paper to only discharge debt with Federal Reserve International Promissory Note dollars or bank money that is commercial paper after the 1933 United States Corporation bankruptcy? All courts in the United States Corporation that you and their government calls the USA are all military courts called and are under maritime or admiralty courts that that is vessel at sea folks for those who don't know what maritime and admiral, admiralty means that display the gold French military United States war flag that some people call oh glory and are conducted in open corporate government sea vessels or ships at sea called Bar Business Admiralty Courts under the Uniform Commercial Code of Colored Law that was written by 72 bank attorney judges against you and in favor of the banks. The Attorney Bar Association and the Federal Reserve Banks control these courts from England. Ever see cameras attached to a wall or ceiling in a courtroom, no matter how small they are, pointing to the area where the judge, the bank attorneys, and you are inside the little porch-like uh, structure that they call the bench? These cameras are connected directly to the United Kingdom who rule the United States Corporation Territory, and you as a straw man in all capital letters are a lost soul, a dead man or woman at sea, one of the walking dead citizen debt slaves, so to speak. Judges know this, and this is why they must rule in favor of the bar-controlled banks. And it is, or is it the other way around? I don't think so. All United States citizens, yes, you, are a walking dead mirror image of the God-created flesh and blood living man, woman or child soul, and the government legal fiction, capital corporation, human collateral, and debt slave that expands the corporate district of Columbia's power over you and their national debt every time you use a Federal Reserve International Promissory Note dollar commercial piece of paper to, uh, to buy anything with or to only discharge a presumed debt. You can never pay a debt off with a legal commercial FRN paper. The debts that you now have can legally be discharged at www.cancelonemortgage.info, the website above here, folks. If you can read and understand written English, you can pay off your debt. If you want to be in equity, you must first got to start paying with lawful money. Most of you would not know what lawful money is if it jumped up and bit you on the nose. For that reason, in order to educate you, the American public, the United States Corporation citizen strongman, lawful money are coins minted by the U.S. Treasury. 
and coins only minted by the U.S. Treasury are unlawful money. The Federal Reserve only has counterfeits, commercial paper, promissory note dollars, which are commercial paper. Commercial paper is of no value and is worthless, as stated in an IRS publication. What you perceive is money is just fiat monopoly pieces of paper that says dollars on them. It also has federal the Federal Reserve note on them. Lawful treasury minted coins, on the other hand, have intrinsic value and holds consideration while legal fiat commercial paper bank money or FRN commercial paper perceived currency doesn't. So paying with lawful U.S. Treasury minted coins entitles you to claim the common law equitable title away from the state or the federal government. Like your car title, that you now have to pay a, tax, a license tax every year and pay a tax when you purchase an automobile from the dealer since the state didn't put up any value into the item. Whether it was a mortgage, car, student loan, so forth, you bought with coins. Only you pay with lawful coins under common law in existence before 1913, before the Federal Reserve Act, and you should always demand a, a payment receipt stating that you paid for the item in lawful coin money to present to the court as positive evidence of the court's non-jurisdiction in case you are ever sued for making payments, missing payments, or for mortgage foreclosure. And, and going into court as a third-party intervener, folks, representing the legal all-capital letter government fiction straw man, if you want a chance of winning in the bar business courts. You can just specify on your FRN or check payment in coins, which are lawful money, because coins have certain intrinsic mental value and ensures consideration, while green commercial paper promissory notes, dollars, have none. When you pay with U.S. coins on your FRNs and checks, specify for payment in Treasury minted coins, you're actually paying for stuff with something of value and holding consideration, rather than with legal green commercial paper which has no intrinsic value or consideration. When you pay in coins minted by the United States Treasury Mint under the organic and original Republic Constitution of the United States of America in 1789, the Union, you've redeemed your Federal Reserve notes in lawful money under Title 12, USC Section 411 and the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, Section 16, Redemption. So you should be able to deduct that amount paid from lawful coins from your income tax liability as a U.S. 14th Amendment citizen as you did not use credit or debt instruments from the Federal Reserve Bank system to buy the items. But, you must have a written coin payment receipt proof from the company you purchased the item from or the closing agent. You pay with national treasury coin currency, which does not increase national debts. Not, a, not with a private commercial paper from a central bank. Federal Reserve notes, or FRNs, make you income tax liable and state of license liable. So when paying with U.S. Treasury minted coins, even by using checks with a language specifying paying coins, you should be entitled to protection of the organic U.S. and state constitutions as well as the Act of 1881, the second rewritten corporate constitution, and the pre-1933 Supreme Court decisions in any court of equity 
or long. But you must ask, what kind of court are you in? A court of equity or a court of law? When they call your straw man name, that is pronounced the same as your name, but in all capital letters, a legal fiction on the court docket. And remember, folks, you are the third party intervener, not the straw man whose name is on their court docket. As well as receiving protection of laws like these, 16 American Jurisprudence Second Constitutional Law, Section 543 states, No free man shall be taken or imprisoned or deceased of property or outlawed or exiled or any wise destroyed, nor shall we go upon him, nor send upon him, meaning you, but by lawful judgment of his peers, or by the law of the land. <clears throat> Folks, the law of the land is common law. Problem is, corporate U.S. citizens such as you are, aren't any Freeman's peers. And since when have you seen a trial by jury? And due to that fact, you've got to demand that you're judged by the law of the land, which is the organic U.S. Republic Constitution of 1789, your original state constitution when they came into the Union, and all the pre-1933 support Supreme Court decisions which are law, not public policy. Oh, and you do equity by petitioning the court. You know, the man or woman acting as the attorney judge by their first name, preferably you as a living man also, not the straw man, using bill in equity, which is your lawful coin payment receipt in the private. Just ask if you can approach the bench. If you are allowed to talk privately to the judge at his bench, you are in the private and a creditor. And the acting judge has no alternative but to dismiss the state off case against your straw man. That you must pay for. The good news is that the sovereign Texas Republic Nation now has Texas Republic Nation TRN crypto coins, cyber currency soon to be released to the world that are similar to Bitcoins, but are the only crypto coins that are actually backed by our intrinsic valued precious metals like gold, copper, and silver, along with timber, precious minerals, and oil from the sovereign Texas Republic Nation land area consisting of nearly one million square miles, reaching from what you now know as the state of Texas all the way to the state of California's Pacific Ocean shoreline to the west. You will be able to get your wallet and TRN coins at www.texasrepublicnationcoins.com. You can also get out of your corporate United States debt, slavery prison, one debt at a time now by going to www.cancelonemortgage.info, the website above, folks, and read about our bank verified and bank approved pre processed LPN negotiable security that legally, by UCC law, federal law, United States law, American common law, and international common law is money, legal tender, and U.S. currency, and can be used as such to pay off your debts and save you thousands of dollars. It should not be the initial investment of our license processing fee that you should be concerned with, but the thousands of dollars you may save by using our bank accepted LPN security to pay off your debt today. 
Just order the 1995 LPN e-booklet for informational and educational purposes only and decide for yourself. Remember, this LPN security process is not a do-it-yourself process, and our LPN security e-booklet does not give you step-by-step -step instructions, although I do email you complete instructions after you become our client by ordering our processing to pay off your debt. Yes, I am the only licensed LPN security processor in the United States, the USA, and the Texas nation, nation, Republic Nation, and the world for all I know. I am David Allen Young, the sovereign Texas Republic Nation Chief Justice Judge for Travis County in Austin, bidding you a great life with freedom, justice, and restored God-given rights as a Texan. When you decide to join us as a Texan in the Texas Republic Nation, just contact me and I will be glad to get you sworn in as a Texan after only six months of your living in the Texas Republic Nation. Since there are no judges in most of our young, reborn, salvaged Texas Republic Nation that has been perfected, vested, salvaged, and revitalized out of dormancy, as a sovereign, standalone rural nation, if you are interested in this county judge position or any Texas Republic Nation government position in the Texas Republic Nation county you live in, you must be a Texan and be lawful and causing no harm or energy or injury rather to your fellow Texans. Must be law abiding and causing no harm or energy. Injury. We are also looking for peace officers, not police officers, peace officers. Military to staff our army and Texian nationals to make a difference in our common law courts as jurists and all of you of like mind are welcome to join. Our young restored sovereign Texas Republic nation is now an independent sovereign rural country bordering the states Warning the countries, I uh, uh, should say, of the United States Corporation and Mexico. Remember, to get out of your debt slavery and discharge your debts, please go now to cancelonemortgage.info and read about our pre-processed, bank-accepted, and bank-verified LPN negotiable securities that may pay off your debt and save you thousands of dollars.